Before I start this video, I'd like to give a disclaimer. This is a trigger warning to anyone who's sensitive to images that show dead animals. The entire video will be showing that. One of my uncle's sheep died the other day. It had been sick and it wasn't getting any better, even after being treated. In fact, I think that it died as a result of the treatment. Seeing that I've never learned how to skin an animal, I asked my younger cousin to teach me so that we can prepare it for the dogs. While I skin the sheep, I will talk about rejection. Before that, I realized that I'm a lot of mystery to some people on my channel, a lot of which can be solved by watching my very first video. So if you have some pieces you want to fit into your puzzle about me and about this channel, please head to that video. Back to today. Rejection in simple terms means not being accepted to be a part of because one does not meet the standards of being with them. I suppose in our walk in life, we may have encountered rejection. And I must say, rejection is really painful, it's hard, and it can be a low blow. If you haven't yet experienced it, brace yourself. It may really be difficult to experience. I suppose that it can happen in all types of relationships and it can be from applications for positions or jobs or even school. Here's the thing about rejection. It mostly has to do with the other person and not meeting their standards. Your standards, or rather where you are, does not necessarily mean that it is bad, cruel or unacceptable. It only means that to the other person, you do not meet their standards. Because we want to be accepted by another individual in their bias or in their clarity, we judge ourselves based on that standard and we conclude ourselves based on it. When we respond to rejection and we allow it to be self-defeating, it can result in many disempowering things and which some of which I'll be talking about today. Firstly, it can make one feel like they are not enough and that to be a part of, they need to be more and more than what they already are. One psychologist once asked me, why do you have a great need to be more than you are? What if you are enough? It really upset me because coming from my background, it felt that we, like we can never be enough and that we need to improve. I suppose it was partly true. There's always room for improvement. As for being enough, I now believe that we are enough just as we are. And yes, we still need God and other people. In one of my friend's words, what I am, I am enough. The second thing is that rejection can make one doubt the abilities to perform duties or tasks. The third thing is that if it is in a group setting, rejection can cause envy, especially if one was excluded to be part of that group. The person may look at the group and become jealous, comparative, and develop any other negative feelings towards the group or to the people that were accepted. The fourth thing is that rejection can close our hearts to trying things because it creates a fear within us. In other words, it steals our courage. I can think of one instance in applications for school or work. If one was rejected before, they can have fear applying to the same post to the same company as they may feel that they may not be accepted. And that is stealing our courage. While I can identify that rejection from somebody is really painful, I think that the worst kind is self-rejection. Not only is it the worst, uh, I think that it is also dangerous 
and it denies oneself opportunities. I think that we are more accepting of negative thoughts, negative self-talk when it is us doing it to ourselves. And I think that is dangerous. I mean, we can easily recognize the impact of rejection when others are doing it to us. But what about when we self-reject? So I really think that acceptance is our cure to self-rejection. May your self-rejection be met by acceptance. Whether that is God's acceptance, somebody else's acceptance, or even your own acceptance. May your heart also be filled with courage. Guard your heart, but don't be afraid. If you have been discouraged, do what is absolutely necessary to be encouraged. Do not remain discouraged. Yeah.